Yeah, absolutely. Um, unbelievable game, unbelievable atmosphere. Proud of our fans, proud of the support we have. Happy for our guys that they have that support. Um, you know, you got to give Connor Nolan credit. He was able to locate that breaker pretty much any count. And, uh, you know, I thought in that first inning when Mikey squared up that ball and it hit off of them and they got out of it, that was a big play for them and it proved to be a really big play uh, to keep us off the board. So there's probably two runs. Um, I thought Carlson matched them. They, they got those three. You know, that one run, we, we can't be walking two people like that. But our guys fought. They played hard. And uh, you have to give credit to Arkansas. You know, they just beat us today, but we'll come out ready to roll tomorrow. Yeah, good stuff by both Arkansas Democrats. Is that um, the same thing that happened? Yeah, he. Uh, he had uh, an electric slider today. Uh, he kept us off balance. Um, uh, it's tough to hit when you got, you know, your best pitch rolling. So, uh, you know, got to tip the cap to him and uh, come back ready to play tomorrow. And how tough is it? You want the bases one out, and, and then he gets out of the strike. How nice is it going? Yeah, I mean that's that's baseball. Um, Mikey hit that ball in the nose. Um, it just happened to hit his leg and bounce right next to him. So. Um, hopefully those bounces go for us uh, tomorrow. Um, yeah, well, I feel like we've been playing with our backs uh, against the wall for as long as I can remember. So, um, you know, we're, we're ready for it. If any team's going to do it, it's going to be this one. first at bat I blew three by him uh, and props to him for being ready for the next at bat um, sit in the heater and he just props him for being ready for that so uh, yeah and then what have the leadoff guy he got on four times how, how, how I guess how big a test was he face? yeah you know when you got a guy that can uh, get on base like that uh, consistently it's always going to um, helped the team out, and uh, he had uh, Webb had that going for him today, and uh, yeah, uh, you know, not really much to say. Uh, you know, just got to shut it down better. Matthew Clemens inside Carolina. This question is from Max. The Diamond Heels pride themselves on pitching and defense, and today uh, the Hogs turn the tables on you. Can you talk about what it was like to see you know, the other team? pulling off the playbook that normally has led you all to such success? Yeah, no, I mean, we just got to keep our heads down and keep working and uh, come back tomorrow and, you know, get the job done. Danny, going off what you mentioned earlier with CL about, you know, if anybody can pull this off, it's, it's us. Do you feel like that's sort of the general mood in the locker room right now? You know, you, you obviously don't want to lose the opener, but do you feel like that's sort of the mindset that's already shifting ahead to tomorrow? Yeah, I mean, um, we were kind of joking about it. Like, nothing's been easy this year. So, you know, it was probably always going to be three games. Um, but, you know, it's baseball. You, you can't win every day. And, um, you know, today they beat us. So we'll run it back out there tomorrow and, and, and try to get a win. Shelby Swanson, Daily Tar Heel. This is a question for um, either player. Just asking, how does the three back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back elimination game wins in the Chapel Hill Regional, how does that give you some confidence going into tomorrow's game? 
Yeah, um, like Danny said before, uh, we've been, our backs have been against the wall, and uh, you know, I don't think anyone's worried, and uh, we're just gonna come back tomorrow and uh, get to game three. Smith, he's been their starter all year, two starter, can't save the last game, still want to him came in today. What did you think of him and were you guys thinking he might close after what happened? Still, what was the scouting report? Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's a fast ball guy, um, and he, I think he, you know, had the confidence in that role, obviously, doing it on the road in that tough environment. So, you know, as a coaching staff, I'm sure they talked about it and, and played it out and like you should ahead of time. And um, they thought, okay, if we get in this situation, that's the guy we're going to go to, and that's what they did. Gregory Hall with Inside Carolina. This is for Danny and you, Scott. As far as offensive approach for tomorrow, is there is it different for the approach that you guys take after kind of witnessing what the offense did today, or is it just squaring it up more? Or what do you? Do? Um, yeah, I mean, we'll go over the starting pitcher tomorrow. Um, you know, have an approach for lefties and righties. Um, you know, we try to stay aggressive um, regardless of the pitcher, um, and then just make little tweaks. Um, you know, based on what he's got and what his uh, his strengths are. So we'll uh, we'll adjust for tomorrow. Yeah, and on that too, um, you know, if you're if you're if you really know the game of baseball, as good as Nolan was, you know, top to bottom, we only struck out eight times, and he had an elite pitch. So we won't change anything. You know, our guys look great in the box. They just we couldn't get that big hit. And sometimes the pitcher can be the equalizer. And I really thought he was. I was over there in the third base box, just hoping that he would lose the feel for that slider. Um, because if you can throw that type of pitch, it's that elite in any counts, it's, it's hard to manufacture runs. Max, you obviously been good in your, your postseason starts. Uh, in, and I'm not saying you work today. Like, that's a good team you're playing. How, how would you rate your stuff today as compared to maybe some of the recent starts you've had? What would you think? Yeah, I felt, I felt really good today. Um, just left some stuff up and they hit it and got those three runs in the fifth and uh, that got it done for them. Uh, Matt Jones, Democrat Gazette, this is for uh, Coach Forbes and for Danny. You guys seem like you were on Connor Nolan's pitches in, in the first inning. Was there something different that he did after the first that gave you problems? I, I didn't think so. Um, you know, we just had Angel j jumped him, um, then Matt got out and, and Danny just had a great at bat where he just found you know the game of baseball. You didn't necessarily punish that ball, but he found a, a spot and got a double out of it. And then he made some really, really good pitches. Um it was like they were pitching around Vance. And uh, you know, Alberto didn't move the ball and you know, Mikey just took a great swing. I, I think his stuff was good out of the gate. Uh, you know, and you have to get some breaks here and there and they found some holes and we didn't. How confident and confident is it that you're able to get Brandon the ball tomorrow? And also, how has he recovered from all the pitches he threw last weekend? Yeah, great. He had a great week. Um, it's very comforting. All these guys are comforting. Um, you know, I've been alone on this ride ever since. They've, they've taken all of us on it. And this is a group that I firmly believe can do anything. So you just, you know, you got a guy on the mound that's got experience. And you just, at the end of the day, it's a weekend series and you got to win it. We got to win two games. We just didn't get that first one. Coach uh, Pat James playing for both teams. Um, how massive was the hitting going out there? Did your three scores kind of keep you in, and also just for how it might go into this weekend? Yeah, one hundred percent. You know, and, and this time of year, you got some guys nicked up a little bit, and and he's not. And him to bridge that gap and not have to go to Palermo, not have to go to Bovair, and uh, I thought that was huge for us. Uh, if it would have got a little bit closer, we might have considered Davis. But when you're behind, you don't want to use your closure unless you absolutely have to. So I thought he was outstanding today. What would you say about Schaefer? I mean, what kind of year you say had? What makes him so good? He's just consistent. Um, you know what you're going to get. He's going to be in the zone. Um, he gets better as the game goes, which is a great, great attribute for a starter. Uh, and he's a tremendous kid uh, and, you know, unbelievable student. He just represents us extremely well in everything that he does. Uh, Vance, obviously, with home run number 25, I just have to ask, just he now is in territory that no one's been in before. Just thoughts on – Yeah, it's really – I mean, it's unbelievable. Um, obviously, too, to know that he's only a freshman 
and that all you guys and fans get to watch him more in his Carolina career. But, you know, what makes Vance so special is not necessarily those 25 home runs. And these guys can tell you he's, he's just a great kid. Um, he's extremely humble. So I'm, I'm really happy for him. Michael Cutter, WCHO. Uh, Scott, I know Colby got the last out of the game, but still getting two hits out of the nine hole. Uh, what do you think was working for him in his approach uh, today? Yeah, I think his batting average is really misleading. Um, another you know, misleading stat. He's had good at bats. He's walked. He's got hit by pitches. He hasn't struck out a ton. Um, and he's played great defense. So, you know, that's big for us because we want it to be throughout one through nine. And I feel like we have that. And again, you know, Nolan just, just gave us some fits. seem to be like this doesn't seem to they don't seem to be faced by losing this first game like the, the level of confidence I guess I'm saying um, does this kind of compare to any other yeah um you know I would have to compare them a little bit to 2018 it's a resilient group um you know a group again that uh, this group though more than that group you know nobody really expected much out of this group so they've showed a lot of people um, but this group has, has been, you know, close, tight, unified, um, even through those tough times. So this is just another, you know, block, block in the road that, that we've had. And uh, we talked to our guys about the importance of having perspective and living in the moment. And even if we would have won that game, you know, today, I challenge them all the time, you have to have the same approach every day in this game. We're realistic, you know, we know what's at stake and they know that and you get that out of the way, but at the end of the day, you just have to come out tomorrow and, and you have to fight and you have to play. Thanks. Thank you all. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks, guys.